Hello everyone. This week we will explore disruptive, impulse control and conduct disorders, including oppositional defiant disorder, intermittent explosive disorder, conduct disorder, antisocial personality disorder, pyromania, and kleptomania. How common are these disorders? The most prevalent of these disorders is the oppositional defiant disorder. About 10% of the population experience ODD during their lifetime. Kleptomania, on the other hand, is very rare and accounts for less than 1% of the population. Oppositional Defiant Disorder, ODD is a type of behavior disorder. It is mostly diagnosed in childhood. Children with ODD are uncooperative, defiant, and hostile toward peers, parents, teachers, and other authority figures. They are more troubling to others than they are to themselves. There are two main theories for why it occurs. Developmental theory suggests that the problems start when children are toddlers. Children and teens with ODD may have had trouble learning to become independent from a parent or other main person to whom they were emotionally attached. Their behavior may be normal developmental issues that are simply lasting beyond the toddler years. The learning theory suggests that the negative symptoms of ODD are learned attitudes. They mirror the effects of negative reinforcement methods used by parents and others in power. The use of negative reinforcement increases the child's ODD behaviors. That's because these behaviors allow the child to get what he or she wants, which is attention and reaction from parents or others. Many children tend to disobey or argue with parents. They may often behave this way when they are tired, hungry, or upset. But in children and teens with ODD, these symptoms happen more often. They also interfere with children's learning and school adjustment. And in some cases, they disrupt the child's relationships with others. Symptoms of ODD may include having frequent temper tantrums, arguing a lot with adults, refusing to do what an adult asks, always questioning rules and refusing to follow rules, doing things to annoy or upset others, including adults, blaming others for the child's own misbehaviors or mistakes, being easily annoyed by others, often having an angry attitude, speaking harshly or unkindly, seeking revenge or being vindictive. Intermittent explosive disorder involves repeated, sudden, episodes of impulsive, aggressive, violent behavior, or angry verbal outbursts, in which a person reacts grossly, out of proportion to the situation. Road rage, domestic abuse, throwing or breaking objects, or other temper tantrums, may be signs of intermittent explosive disorder. These intermittent, explosive outbursts, cause significant distress, negatively impact relationships, work and school, and they can have legal and financial consequences. Intermittent explosive disorder is a chronic disorder that can continue for years, although the severity of outbursts may decrease with age. Treatment involves medications and psychotherapy to help control aggressive impulses. Explosive eruptions occur suddenly, with little or no warning, and usually last less than 30 minutes. These episodes may occur frequently or be separated by weeks or months of non-aggression. Less severe verbal outbursts may occur in between episodes of physical aggression. You may be irritable, impulsive, aggressive or chronically angry most of the time. Aggressive episodes may be preceded or accompanied by rage, irritability, increased energy, racing thoughts, tingling, tremors, palpitations, chest tightness. The explosive verbal and behavioral outbursts are out of proportion to the situation, with no thought to consequences, and can include temper tantrums, tirades, heated arguments, shouting, slapping, shoving or pushing, physical fights, property damage, threatening or assaulting people or animals. Clients may feel a sense of relief and tiredness after the episode. Later, they may feel remorse, regret or embarrassment. Conduct Disorder Conduct Disorder, CD, is diagnosed when children show an ongoing pattern of aggression toward others and serious violations of rules and social norms at home, in school, and with peers. These rule violations may involve breaking the law and result in arrest. Children with CD are more likely to get injured and may have difficulties getting along with peers. Examples of CD behaviors include breaking serious rules, such as running away, staying out at night when told not to, or skipping school, being aggressive in a way that causes harm, such as bullying, fighting, or being cruel to animals, lying, stealing, or damaging other people's property on purpose. Antisocial personality disorder is sometimes called sociopathy. It is a mental disorder in which a person consistently shows no regard for right and wrong, and ignores the rights and feelings of others. People with antisocial personality disorder, tend to antagonize, manipulate or treat others harshly, or with callous indifference. They show no guilt or remorse for their behavior. Individuals with antisocial personality disorder, 
often violate the law, becoming criminals. They may lie, behave violently or impulsively, and have problems with drug and alcohol use. Because of these characteristics, people with this disorder typically can't fulfill responsibilities related to family, work or school. Adults with antisocial personality disorder, typically show symptoms of conduct disorder before the age of 15. Pyromania is a rare, pathological disorder, characterized by intentional and repeated fire setting. People with pyromania are deeply fascinated by fire and related paraphernalia. They may experience feelings of satisfaction or a release of built-up inner tension or anxiety once a fire is set. Pyromania can affect adolescents and adults, and is more common in males than in females. It is also especially common in people with learning disabilities, and those who lack social skills. According to the DSM-5, the diagnostic criteria for pyromania include an attraction to fire, purposely setting more than one fire, feeling excited or tense just before setting a fire, and feeling relief or pleasure in the aftermath of a fire. The fire setting is not done for monetary gain, or the improvement of one's circumstances, for ideological reasons, to cover up criminal activity, to express anger or revenge, or as a result of a delusion, a hallucination, or impaired judgment. The fire setting is not better explained by a manic episode or other disorder. Signs of pyromania include an excessive or unnecessary amount of matches or lighters, burn holes in fabrics and rugs, burnt pieces of paper or other material in garbage cans or near a sink or stove. Someone with pyromania may seem obsessed with fire and firefighting, frequently visiting fire departments, watching fires, helping out after a fire, and even setting off false fire alarms. Kleptomania is the recurrent inability to resist urges to steal items that a person doesn't really need, and that usually have little value. Kleptomania is a rare, but serious mental health disorder, that can cause much emotional pain if not treated. Kleptomania is a type of impulse control disorder, a disorder that's characterized by problems with emotional or behavioral self-control. Those with impulse control disorder, have difficulty resisting the temptation, to perform an act that's excessive or harmful. Many people with kleptomania live lives of secret shame, because they're afraid to seek mental health treatment. Although there's no cure for kleptomania, treatment with medication or psychotherapy may help to end the cycle of compulsive stealing. Kleptomania symptoms may include Inability to resist powerful urges to steal items that you don't need. Feeling increased tension, anxiety or arousal leading up to the theft. Feeling pleasure, relief or gratification while stealing. Feeling terrible guilt, remorse, self-loathing, shame or fear of arrest after the theft. Return of the urges and a repetition of the kleptomania cycle. To find out more about these disorders, read Chapter 11 of Jengalevsky book in the DSM-5 section on Disruptive, Impulse Control, and Conduct Disorders.